Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for June 1st through June 15th. It's hard to believe we're halfway through 2019. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. It truly makes me so happy to see how active you guys are on the videos. And welcome back those of you who are subscribers. I will be unavailable for personal readings until after June 15th. So for my next set of videos, um, Instant Go and personal readings will be available um, available again. Um, as far as the energy therapy, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. I literally have clients spread all around the globe at this point, which I am beyond grateful for. Um, the energy therapy is really powerful to help you in letting go of things from the past, working through any emotions or anything that's unsettled within you it can bring you into full balance and really connect you to body, mind, and spirit so you can live from a more powerful place within yourself. So the energy therapy, um, all the info for that is on the website below. And if you saw my last set of videos, I have expanded my business and brought on a really beautiful soul. Her name is Elaine. She is a incredibly gifted energy therapist and healer as well, specializing in distance energy healing. So um, Elaine is available through my website as well. So you can book with her, you can book with me, whatever resonates with you. And definitely take advantage. There is a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can take advantage of that, uh, try it out, and just see how it feels for you. So that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for June 1st through June 15th. I've already fully shuffled. So let's see what we have for you. Okay, interesting. So starting off, first two cards out, I've got three of swords and two of swords. There is a situation from your past that you want to let go of and move forward, but you're stuck. I'm like feeling that you're stuck and you don't know how to make a decision. And with the swords, I do feel it's a lot like you're thinking a lot about this situation. Okay, but with this blindfold, it's like you may not have all the information or you're, you're unable to see everything that you need to see in order to move past this and in order to face it. I do feel that it has to do with love because it feels deep. It feels like whatever this was was painful for you and ran very deep, which might be why it's hard to look at because it does still hurt. The sting is still there. And you really like disconnected from the head and the heart, okay? So I'm seeing this cross right here. Um, so you're caught in your thoughts instead of trying to move down into the heart where I feel your answers are, or you can get more clarity, okay? Or where that is where you can actually find the forgiveness, okay? We don't forgive people in our minds. To truly forgive is it comes from the heart and the soul. That's what will set you free, okay? So this judgment card is really asking you to come out of the mind and down into the heart, to face whatever it is that you need to face, okay? If you need to write a letter, and not actually send it, but just write it to get the words out. If you need to actually connect with somebody and speak with them and, you know, get closure, I feel that's what this card is asking. This brings forgiveness and an opportunity for newness, okay? So like a fresh start, a rebirth. I do feel like you're ready for it, though. You're ready to, yeah, so six of cups. You're ready to let the past stay in the past and not bring it into the present moment anymore. Yeah, so after this judgment card and the forgiveness, you are going to pull within a little bit, okay? So the hermit card is going to 
it'll be like a retreat, okay? Um, a self-retreat in a way. So spiritual um, lessons, looking within, growing. You know, the Hermit card is a powerful card of lessons and growth. So you may even have a lesson around what forgiveness looks like for you. Okay, and that's what the lesson is here. But after that happens and after you do get closure, I do see somebody new coming in for you, okay? So I've got uh, King of Pentacles energy with the Ace of Wands. Could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Don't get too caught up on the signs. Um, but this, this King of Pentacles feels very solid to me. Grounded, reliable, mature, successful. But they also have like a passionate... A lighter side to them and I'm getting the message that until you really close this door whatever this is for you the past hurt and pain it needs to be closed in order for this person to come in okay and it, you know again it's general reading it's not gender specific so this can be male or female it can be you it can be the other person that you're dealing with but I do feel this King of Pentacles coming in for you, Cancer, is going to have a strong offer for you. Uh, they're pretty solid, and I think they're pretty clear of what they want, which is always a good thing. Let me see what else is there. You have a couple similar cards as the Scorpio reading, okay? So similar energies for you, Water Signs. Okay, so this strong offer is going to come in, the King of Pentacles, and there's going to be a part of you that wants to run the other way <laughs> because it might be a little bit too serious for you right away. Um, but I feel like the Fool does have an energy of like fate and trust and allowing uh, the universe to do its work, and it's not too caught up on the outcome. It's really about enjoying, okay? So... For some of you, I feel like you're not going to be able to give your commitment to this King of Pentacles, okay? You are going to keep your options open for a little bit. You're going to keep in like enjoying yourself and having fun. I don't feel like you're going to settle down really quick with this person. They're going to want that, though. I do feel this King of Pentacles energy is going to be serious for you. But you just aren't really in a serious space right now is kind of what I'm picking up, which is totally fine. Um, I think since you're kind of coming off the tail end of healing the heart and healing some of that, that can trigger us to just want to be free and have fun and not have anything serious or uh, committed. So again, this is, will only resonate with some of you, not all of you. But it's like you want to keep your options open and you're just not ready to commit. And that's okay. But this King of Pentacles, he's in the center of the reading here. So it's a very strong, strong energy that will be around you. So I think as long as you're just communicate with this person, kind of where you're at, that will be a good thing. Yes, okay, so kind of just what I'm saying. The last message for you is truth and integrity. Be honest with this person and with yourself, right? Because the King of Pentacles, again, he wants commitment and something serious. So if you're not there, you have to be authentic uh, with him or her. So truth and integrity. And this also, this truth and integrity is going to help you move past this hurt, right? You kind of have to face yourself and face those emotions and face whatever that situation was so that you can be set free. Okay. All right, Cancer. I think that's it. Um, thank you for, if, if that didn't resonate with you, you can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter. Thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all the comments. So 
I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Uh, for personal readings and instant go questions, I will be unavailable for personal readings until after June 15th, okay? So check back after June 15th if you would like a personal reading um, or a question on instant go. And again, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients all over the globe at this point which I'm very, very grateful for. And I've just expanded actually and brought on a beautiful soul. Her name is Elaine. She is a master energy therapist as well. Incredibly gifted um, and available for you through my website for distance energy healing and therapy. So you can read about her on my website. You're, um, you're, you are available to book with her or book with me. Whatever resonates with you um, is most important. And definitely take advantage of the 15% discount that I do have for first-time energy clients, okay? So you will see that option on the services page. That is it for now, Cancer, and truly wishing you a great start to June. I will see you back here for the second half of June readings. Take care.